Namaste and peace and blessings, mommies, new mommies, little mommies to be. We are going to start in a seated position and today we're just gonna work on a couple of techniques that can maybe help us decrease discomfort in our bodies by simply sitting the right way, kneeling the right way, and laying the right way. So again, we're gonna work on sitting, kneeling, and laying. And often, pillows, blankets, and props, any type of prop, can be so beneficial to moms to be. So because I'm already down here on the floor, we're gonna start in our seated position. And I am actually having, I am actually going to sit on a bolster pillow here. If you don't have a bolster pillow, you can grab some blankets, maybe fold them up, or maybe just pillows you have from your house. And simply sitting on your prop, on your bolster, on your pillows, allows your hips to come up higher. It allows your legs to be sunken down closer towards the earth, creating that extra space for baby. Noticing that this is um, a very comfortable position to sit in. <sighs> we can always come into that butterfly pose, which is bounding our feet together and our feet are closer towards our thighs. And you may notice the inner thighs is getting a little workout here. If this is too deep of a stretch, we can come into that diamond pose. Noticing how this isn't as deep in the hips. So these are a couple of seating positions that we can choose to sit in when we're sitting on the floor and relaxing, maybe playing with our other kids if we have any, or maybe just sitting down and relaxing. So now that we worked on our seated pose, maybe we can flow into a kneeled position. Sometimes when um, we are in labor, sometimes we find ourselves on our hands and knees. That pain, the contractions, the contractions can sometimes get to you. So if we did not have our epidural yet, or maybe we are using a midwife, or we're just going through labor and delivery without any pain meds, Sometimes you find yourself on the floor in that kneel position and being home practicing a couple of kneel positions is basically just preparing your mind for when you're in labor. We wanna ensure that our knees are further than hip distance apart, creating that extra space between our thighs for the baby. So in our normal cat cow, our knees are hip distance apart. But when we are pregnant, we wanna widen, we wanna widen that stance there and drop down to our cow. And coming up to our cat just a little, just slightly, we're basically still in table. Then we'll come back to that cow pose. Then we'll come back to our table or our cat, slight cat. Noticing how that feels in the body. So this is a nice nail position that we can play with. We also can play with a bird pose, but we're not gonna lift any arms off the earth in our bird, per in our bird pose. We are gonna simply lift our leg to the back what we are doing is we are building strength in our bodies, building strength in our arms, preparing our body for labor and delivery. Now, if you are super strong and you feel like your body can do it, you can lift that leg off the earth, slightly off the earth, if you choose. But if you have any issues or don't feel well, don't feel that strong today, please allow our toes to relax down on the earth. Bodies gaze forward, noticing how our tummies are relaxing down towards the earth. Babies relaxing, mom's relaxing, mom's building arm, mom's building strength in her arms, relaxing her body. Always taking nice, subtle breaths here. Remembering to never hold our breath in any pose that we do. We are simply flowing with the breath here. <sighs> We'll hang out here for a couple breaths just to build strength before we switch legs coming back to that table. We maybe can do a cow coming back to that table before we extend the opposite leg to the back. We can lift that leg up in the air if that feels good for us. But I'm gonna suggest um, if we are not that strong to simply relax the toes downward onto the earth. 
Once again, we are not going to extend any arms here. We're going to keep both arms flat on the earth, gazing forward, slightly down if that feels comfortable for you. Build and strengthen our bodies and our arms. This pose prepares our body for labor and delivery. Simply relax and build in strength. We can come back out of that position. That was a modified sunbird pose. And if we want to go deeper, we can actually widen that stance even more, acting like we're coming down to a, a puppy pose. But instead of coming down to the puppy pose, bringing our chest towards the earth, we could do that if we don't have a big belly. We can bring our chest down to the earth in our puppy pose with our arms slightly extended. But I'm gonna suggest that we grab a pillow. Having a pillow here in puppy pose and just relaxing our chest on the pillow. So this pillow separates the chest from the floor. It's creating a little bit more space for the baby bump to relax in. So the pillows work great and we can hang out here in this puppy pose. And you can even flow into a child's pose here with the pillow. Widening, widening your stance as much as you can and relaxing down. And you can even close your eyes and even cross your hands and lay on your hands. Kind of flowing into a restorative pose. This is a nice pose for labor and delivery, for pre-labor. Hanging out here and the pillows are amazing. Especially if you're in labor and you have those contractions, it gives you something to squeeze, but at the same time breathe. Because remember, we don't want to hold our breath. So this puppy pose, wide-legged puppy pose, wide-legged child's pose with the pillow between our chest and the floor. The pillow between the chest and the floor is a beautiful technique. Noticing how this feels. And maybe you can give it a try and practice these techniques before you go into labor. That way, when you're in labor, you have a couple of tricks and techniques that you... Okay, so that's the pillow technique. As we know, the floor is one of the coolest spots in the house. Also, the floor is level. There's no shaking. So sometimes moms like to be on the floor. But sometimes the floor can be hard. So maybe we have our yoga mat. Maybe we have flush carpet. Who knows? But we want a little bit more softer space. So once again, we can grab our pillows. I love the big giant pillows. They are amazing. And then you, we have these pillows here, these bolsters for between your legs. So let's just say that we are, we're just tired. We can't sleep well because we got a big belly and we can use this even in our beds. So I have a bolster here that I'm gonna put behind my back. Kind of like we use for a baby when we don't want the baby to roll over. We put that blanket or that rolled up blanket or pillow behind their back so they won't roll over. We're gonna do the same thing for us. It's gonna help prop us up. We have another pillow here between our legs. We have another pillow up here, maybe big, maybe small, whatever you choose. We can have five or six pillows if that feels good for us. And we can be just simply laying here. Let's just say we're not sleepy yet, but laying on the floor is so comfortable and we wanna get some exercise in. We can actually do the leg stacks. This pose also prepares us for labor and delivery, working our legs. And if we can't bring our legs straight up, we can always just slightly bend our foot. See that there? And noticing how we are working our leg muscles. At the same time, we are comfortable and relaxed here. We can all but if you choose to, you can take your hand, your extended hand to toe and reach your hand to your toe and bring your leg towards your body. This is a nice prep for labor and delivery, preparing your hips. If that feels good for you. And once again, we can just relax and chill. Relax in the body. So keeping the, the pillow behind our back, we're gonna switch sides. Relax in our bodies on our pillow. One of our legs is bent, the other one is just hovering over the pillow. And we're just relaxing, chilling, watching TV, noticing how when we're laying on the floor, when we're pregnant with our pillows or sleeping in our bed, these pillows, these props are amazing. They work just like the breath. They are so simple and they help reduce pain and discomfort. 
but let's just say we're not sleepy yet and we want to get a workout we just worked the other side of our body so let's work the opposite side doing the same thing straightening out both legs we're doing the leg stacks and we're simply just lifting our leg up in the air preparing our bodies for labor working our hips ensuring our legs stay nice and strong but at the same time we are relaxing and soothing here simultaneously we are working our bodies and we are also relaxing our bodies feeling our leg muscles start to work starting to burn and if that's the case we want to stop slow down and maybe bend that lower leg and relax for a little bit because we're pregnant we don't want to overheat our body we don't want our body temperatures to get too high so we're not going to be sweating up a storm here and once we cooled our bodies down maybe we want to continue lifting our leg up in the air we can do that extended hand to toe if we choose bringing that leg straight up in the air feeling that stretch only if we're able and if we was able to do this prior to being pregnant because once again, when we are pregnant, our bodies do become more flexible. We may find ourselves being a little bit more bendy when we're pregnant, but that's the false illusion. We don't want to overstretch and hurt anything in our bodies. So please keep in mind to not overstretch, even if your body says, go a little further. Let's be a little conscious and aware of that, please. And if we can't do that extended hand to toe with our leg straight, remember we can always simply just bend our leg right there and feel in the benefits of it. Noticing how that feels in the body. And once you are ready, you can always just relax one back down to that pillow. You can even straighten out that arm and relax your head on the arm. This is a nice laying position for mom to be and very comfortable. We have a pillow above by our heads. We have a nice long pillow between our legs. We have a pillow behind our backs, keeping us up in this upright position. And if we choose to slightly lean over, we're only gonna lean over, but so far, that pillow prevents us from flowing onto our backs. Because as we know, when we are pregnant, we don't wanna be completely laying flat on our backs. So these pillows work in so many different ways. And we can just simply hang out here and relax. We can place our hand over our head. If we're able, talk to your doctor first about extending your hands over your head. I know some doctors, some midwives say don't do it. Maybe it's an old folks tale, I don't know. But talk to your doctor first about extending your hands over your head. Because now we are in our alligator. We are in our alligator pose. Legs are stacked. Arms are above our heads. Body is nice and long when we are in our alligator. But that's just a fun pose I just threw in here to tell you about because we was laying down on our side. But if we are just doing these for comfort, here's a beautiful laying position that we can get into in our beds or on the floor. Relax in the mind and body. Noticing how we feel. As we gaze our eyes down or close our eyes, preparing our minds and bodies for rest. We are centered here. We are focused on the present moment. self-care, allowing our bodies to completely relax, melting downward into the yoga mat, <sighs> nice deep breath, exhale, breathe in, filling the lungs with oxygen, exhale, Eyes are closed. Body's getting sleepy. 
body's feeling tired. Mind is getting relaxed. Body's feeling at ease. Mom is resting. Peace and blessings.